Hi, my name is Don Schaefer, and I am an American Tackle Pro staffer, and I'm here today at the International Custom Rod Building Expo uh, here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to apply your epoxy finish to your thread work. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with a little bit of the Pro Coat High Build and we're going to mix the two parts, the hardener and the resin together, 50-50 by mix, and we're going to be using the syringes to do that. Two cc's. Put that into the mixing cup, and then exact same amount on the part A resin. Okay, two cc's of that. I like to stir them just a little bit first. Get them started on the mix. Now I'm going to put this into the mixing machine. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap on a little bit of thread work here. Got my thread work on here. Now I've got my epoxy mixing over here. It has been for about five minutes now. Basically what my next step here is, is just go ahead and start building it up on here. Spinning it quickly. And I'm not sure if you can see that on the rod blank that it is spinning. You can probably see it on this decal, the way it's spinning. And Using a nylon thread, you really see how that thread changes colors. We do not have a uh, color fast thread on here, which kind of gives it a little bit of a unique look. But it will definitely change colors without putting any color preserver on it. All right, so as you can see, it's, it's a little blotchy right now. If you can zoom in on that, it's a little blotchy, but as you watch it, that blotchiness is going away. We've got some air bubbles in there. So we're gonna heat the air bubbles up just a little bit. And I like to pop the air bubbles on top of the rod, not on the bottom. You can actually watch them go away. And I'm just kind of bringing the heat across the top of it without hitting it directly. There we go. Procode has the, the high build gets a few more bubbles in it than the regular as well. There we go. And that's basically all there is to it. Now, at this point in time, I can set the machine up for drying. Okay, so now we have it on the dryer. We're just going to have it on a nice slow roll. The epoxy is self-leveling, so this will keep it from forming any drips or any high spots on here. And we keep it on a nice slow roll. With the high build, you can get by with about an hour and a half, two hours of letting it run, and that will be plenty of time. If you go with the regular Pro Coat, which is going to give you a little better finish overall in most cases, uh, then I would leave it on the dryer for a minimum of five hours uh, under about a 70 degree temperature. And I appreciate you watching the video and please contact your representatives at American Tackle if you have any questions.